Now it's time for a game called OK Stop. We'll roll a clip and the panel can say OK Stop at any point to comment. Buckle up. Howard Schultz. Uh, no, we're going to do it. You know why we're going to do it? Howard Schultz decides he's going to actually do this and run. We're going to ignore him. All right, we're going to try to push him aside. But we have a chance now to convince this dope to get the fuck out of this race and to not take the country down. So we're going to talk about how he's messing this up and making a fool of himself until he gets the message. Every barista I tell them. <laughs> Howard Schultz, a man so rich he can't be embarrassed, showed up for CNN's town hall. And let's just say he truly spoke in sentences. Roll the clip. The far left is now suggesting Medicare for all. That is a $32 trillion number. And, then, and just like the issue I brought up before about making all the buildings in America energy f uh, uh, free in terms of, of clean energy, mm -hmm. does anyone here really understand that Medicare for all also means that you will lose the choice of your doctor and your private insurance company? Not okay, stop. I just, even if this guy doesn't run, he is, gonna, he is just going to spend his time talking about Healthcare, talking about energy, talking about the budget by just using right-wing talking points. And, and you know what? He's got, a, he's got Democrat advisors and he's got Republican advisors. All I hear is someone who has spent a lifetime claiming to be a Democrat going on television and attacking Democrats and attacking liberals and saying things like, Medicare for all is unrealistic. Doing anything about climate change like the Green New Deal is unrealistic. I don't like him. <laughs> know that. So that would disrupt the entire system It'll cost $32 trillion. There's no doubt that, once again, the health care crisis has been with us for a long time. The other issue is, I okay, stand... Okay, stop. Um, do rich people know that they can just go away? I... Like, he can live on an island where he cannot have Medicare for all and do whatever he wants. He could, like, fuck a goat and we wouldn't know. Like, the world is his Starbucks oyster. We would have been skipping into the sunset going, oh my God, I love Frappuccinos. And yet he wants to, I just don't understand. I also, you know, he's a smart man. This Is he? The, I, I don't know. I was, <laughs> you thought long and hard about it. Before this, <laughs> I believed he was a smart person. I think it's a very hard job running several thousand Starbuckses at once. You know, I, that would be, I mean, look, if you told me tomorrow I'm in charge of all the Starbuckses, I'm in a full fucking panic. <laughs> I am in a panic, and I am very much hoping that a lot of the processes and systems that he put in place will work for a while while I learn the ropes. I'm thinking every, sto every store needs coffee. Every single one, every day, new coffee coming in. The right amount of coffee. Send them too much, they got nowhere to put it. Don't send them enough, you got a Starbucks running out of coffee. Huge fucking problem. Yeah. All right? and then, then, on top of that, all right, now you've got the coffee worked out. Every single one needs an even number of sous vide egg bites. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and that's the other thing. You gotta learn, just learning all the terms. They got so many different kinds of breakfast sandwiches and they all got a, the logistical process of making all those eggs. And by the way, those sous vide egg bites, I think the first ingredient is cottage cheese. <laughs> so then you're figuring out how to make cottage cheese into eggs. <laughs> the fact that I supported the Affordable Care Act, it covered 20 million people who did not have good insurance, but premiums have gone up double since the Affordable Care Act. So now we gotta go back in and fix the Affordable Care Act and bring premiums down. Competition will do that. Okay, stop. But Whoa, that's it. That was an idea. What? What do you mean competition will do that? He doesn't really know. We don't know. Because he hasn't thought very deeply about what he wants to do. He is running. He is running because of all the things he wants to stop. In fact, one of the things he has been signaling is that he will not run if the Democrats nominate a centrist, which is just another way of saying, I am holding the Democratic Party hostage to my personal beliefs. That if you don't go along with the kind of person I like, because I'm a billionaire, I will run. And even though, you know, Crooked Media put out uh, a uh, report by Joel Benison, who was uh, an Obama pollster, a really smart pollster, and he gave, he gave Howard Schultz the benefit of the doubt, right? He said, all right, 
let's say, let's say you do really, really well. All right, and I'm gonna take away states where the Democrats won by a bunch, and I'm gonna take away states where Republicans won by a bunch, and I'm gonna say you do really, really well in all the states that are close, right? All the states where you can come up the middle. For people at home listening, I made a gesture. Uh, <laughs> he can't do it. Under the most generous of, 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 of estimations, under the most uh, uh, liberal of vote tallies, he cannot get to 270 electoral votes. But what he can do is reelect Donald fucking Trump. And so now he's standing out there saying that he's a positive guy and he's against revenge politics, but it's pretty clear that the only thing that motivates him is making sure Democrats aren't for a few policies that he personally doesn't like for reasons he doesn't fully fucking understand. But can I ask a legit... <laughs> solid, very solid. Can I ask a legitimate question? Do, is it possible, and I'm really asking this, it, that he could leech more billionaire sycophants off of the right than off of the left? I think the problem is he is not, he is talking about a socially liberal, fiscally conservative agenda. There is no constituency for that. Liberals don't want that and conservatives don't want that. He is not doing anything to appeal to the right. All he is doing is attacking, is the, attacking left. the left. Yeah. He's not making a, you haven't That's seen him outline any conservative things. He is outlining a centrist agenda that's somewhere on the spectrum between Joe Manchin and, and honestly, somewhere between Joe Manchin and Barack Obama, right? That's what he's outlining. So he's outlining something that doesn't appeal to conservatives while trying to drag the Democratic Party to the right and trying to attack democratic ideas. That, that is what he has spent his time doing. But how at the end of this will he or won't he, can he come away with it and be like, I think people really like me. <laughs> you know, like this is like the, this is the unpopularity contest of the ages. I think that there is clearly no limit to what he can convince himself <laughs> about himself. And it's what, it's what Rich, Guys will do. I, I mean, in middle school, there was a kid, nobody liked him, but he had a big screen TV and he had Breakfast Club and we went at his house and we watched it. <laughs> the far right, we move. The how? The yeah. question is how. Yeah. Good, Good question. Stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> Listen, the MVP, okay, asking the questions that we all want answers to. <laughs> Okay, I don't know who that is. Who is that? Their it's job. Poppy Harlow, God damn it! Know. You show Poppy Harlow. You're just gonna keep, keep saying her name over Poppy and over. Poppy Harlow, I want you to remember. Okay. Poppy Harlow. I can remember Poppy. It's a great name, Poppy is Harlow. Is it? Oh, it's I would say it's a good. It's, it's a good. definitely a uh, Howard Schultz name that he could talk to. I'll talk to a <laughs> Poppy and a Buffy and no one else. <laughs> As somebody who grew up in a very diverse background as a young boy. Okay, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. We want to see the photos, okay? We I, want the proof. I want to see the street you grew up on and all of your neighbors' photos before I buy into that Howie. And what we know is that, like, he likes to, he's one of those guys who likes to say, I grew up, you know, in the projects, right? And, like, projects is a word, right, that we use that is race that usually means poor black folks. But he grew up a bunch of poor white folks. Yeah, he's like, there right? was an Irish family, there was an Italian family. <laughs> so diverse, yeah. I think that there maybe was a Ukrainian second generation that had fled something. I rolled a hoop down the street. <laughs> I took a hoop and a stick. <laughs> and then I made everybody buy weird coffee forever. In the projects. I didn't see color as a young boy. Honestly, don't see color now. Stop. So I'll start and then I'll let you all finish. I think you should finish. I, I think we just need you, actually. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. I just, I. <laughs> Anytime a white person says that they don't see color, I just, I put on this voice right here. because. Because I just don't understand. Because what you're saying is you don't see me. And I've got a lot of colors on today, right? Um, and so I'm just confused that we're still using that in 2019 and you're potentially possibly running for president of the United States. Like, it just seems stupid at this point. So he has walked this back, as they say. <laughs> and good for him. Congrats to the, again, crack team around Howard Schultz shepherding this PR juggernaut to its logical conclusion, which is Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs>
But I'll tell you what my honest reaction was to this. And again, it goes to Travell's incisive question earlier. Is he? Uh, because that is a schmuck. A schmuck says that. Not a, not a leader of men, an executive, a titan of, of, of super dudes of Silicon Valley in Seattle, wherever the coffee headquarters is. That's what a schmuck says. That's what Michael Scott says. This is a schmuck. And you know what, Howard Schultz? I don't want to call you a schmuck, all right? I don't like that you put me in this position. 